And after a brief week off, the NASCAR Trackmasters Cup Series roars back into action. Race 7 at Kansas, the Preda 1 Bank 400 is now. As we inch closer to the playoffs, the pressure is higher than ever on these drivers to perform. One of those drivers looking to perform today is Denny Hamlin. Hamlin captured the points lead following race four at Gateway, but has not been in that position since. A bad race at Bristol knocked him down the standings a bit, and he has not been able to recover since. Danny Hamlin, however, starts on pole for today at one of his best racetracks. Will the 11 car be able to visit Victory Lane for the first time in the Trackmasters Cup Series? Only time will tell. Joey Logano was another one of those drivers in need of a good race. The Season 2 champion has not had a very good Season 3 so far, with his best chance to win being all the way back in Daytona. Will Joey Logano find luck in the seventh race of the Trackmasters Cup Series Season 3, or will he have to wait a little bit longer for him to start his title defense? With the pre-race stories out of the way, let's hand it trackside for the Command to Fire engines here at the Kansas Motor Speedway. Drivers, start your engines! Dirty motors roar to life here in Emporia, Kansas. Let's move in for your starting lineup for today's Credit One Bank 400. Setting the fastest time in qualifying, Denny Hamlin will start alongside Tyler Reddick in row one, and in row two, William Byron starts to the inside of Eric Almarola. Coming up in row three, Kyle Larson starts to the inside of Chase Elliott, and coming up in row four, Ryan Blaney to the inside of Jimmy Johnson. Row 5, Joey Logano, Season 2 champion, starts to the inside of Kurt Busch. And in Row 6, Chris Buescher starts to the inside of Kyle Busch. Row 7, Martin Truex Jr. to the inside of Cole Custer. And coming up in Row 8, Brad Keselowski to the inside of Race 4 winner Kevin Harvick. Row 9, Drake May starts to the inside of Chase Briscoe, who's filling in for Ryan Newman. And in Row 10, Matt Benedetto to the inside of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Row 11, Alex Bowman to the inside of Christopher Bell, and coming up in row 12, Bubba Wallace to the inside of Eric Jones. Row 13, Ryan Priest starts to the inside of Ty Dillon, and coming up in row 14, Austin Dillon starts to the inside of Mike McDowell. Rounding out the field today in row 15, Clint Boyer will start to the inside of Ross Chastain. And that about does it for our pre-race ceremonies. Off turn four, the field is in the hands of Denny Hamlin, who will lead the field to the Geico restart zone. Green flag is out, we are racing in the Midwest. Hamlin got a good initial start there, but it's Tyler Reddick on the outside who got a great start over Denny Hamlin. Rolling down the back straightaway with a big push from Eric Almirola, Tyler Reddick takes the lead at Kansas. To lead his first laps of his career, Tyler Reddick will lead lap one, followed by Almirola and Denny Hamlin. Hamlin back up the inside of Almirola, looking at the race lead. Reddick is now clear of Hamlin as Eric Almirola goes up the inside of the 11 car. Up front, Reddick holds on to lead lap two. Now Almirola gets underneath Tyler Reddick and slides up in front of the 8 car. Reddick had to get out of the gas there. He falls back just a bit. Now Hamlin putting pressure on Eric Almirola for the race lead with William Byron looking at this fight as well. To turn 1 once again. Almirola at the bottom. Hamlin up top. Side by side off turn 2. Through 3 and 4 once again. Almirola at the bottom will slide him in front of Hamlin who slides. Hamlin's on the outside wall. Sliding back across the grass. He'll bring out the first caution of the day. Hamlin goes around and the caution is out. Denny Hamlin now down pit road after a spin coming off turn four. That is disastrous for Denny Hamlin, who was really looking for a good race today to boost him in the point standings. Unfortunately, everything took a turn for the worse here. Coming to lap six, Almirola slid up in front of Hamlin. Hamlin looks like he just got loose and overcorrected and slammed into the outside wall. We'll take a look at the telemetry here on Denny Hamlin's car. You can see it pulling up there on the bottom left of the screen. Slowly getting back to the gas here off four. Oh, he had to get on the brakes there. Yeah, Hamlin had to get on the brakes hard, and that just unbalanced the car. He slid down to the inside and overcorrected and just jammed it into the outside wall. I think Eric Almirola sliding up in front of Denny Hamlin. He Hamlin just had to check up so he didn't run over Almirola, and unfortunately, he just put it in the outside wall. So Denny Hamlin will be able to continue, but he will be at the back of the pack. Eric Almirola is now your race leader alongside William Byron as the field comes off turn four, led by Eric Almirola. Back to the Geico restart zone they go. Green flag back in the air. Good restart by our leaders, but a really good restart by Chase Elliott. To the outside, he's going to get a run down the back straightaway. 
Elliot pulls all the way to the bottom. They are three wide two, through three and four. Elliot slides up, makes a bit of room for Jimmy Johnson. Four wide down the front straightaway. Johnson through, everyone scrambles behind trouble. Chase Elliott's in the wall, pinches Joey Logano. Logano slides, Chris Buescher collected. Second caution of the day is out. And a big pile up off of turn two with Chase Elliott and Joey Logano, the main ones involved. Chris Buescher also spun there. He was able to get it pulled away, but that brings out the second caution of the day. There was a huge scramble down the front straightaway for position. Look at Jimmy Johnson all the way to the bottom lane, four wide for the race lead. Elliott, yeah, he just checked up and Kyle Busch ran him over. Chase, I think I don't think Kyle Busch was expecting Chase Elliott to get on the brakes like he did, but Elliott had to slow down so we could make the corner. Kyle Busch was just carrying far more speed than Elliott and didn't expect him to slow up that quickly. Kyle Busch just had nowhere to go. El, uh, Logano got pinched in the wall and spun back around, and Chris Buescher got ran over trying to avoid the incident. But take a look at Jimmy Johnson. The big scramble down the front straightaway created just enough room on the inside lane for Johnson to go four wide all the way onto the apron. And having the shortest route, he was able to get around all of the drivers on the outside lane, which means that Jimmy Johnson will be a race leader coming to the restart. Speaking of Jimmy Johnson, he is currently leading the field off turn four and back towards the Geico restart zone. Green flag is back in the air, three to go at Kansas. Johnson's down and away. Kyle Busch from the outside lane got a great restart over William Byron. He goes to the outside, up to second goes the 18 car off the restart. Towards turn three once again and coming to two laps to go. Kyle Busch on the high side has a great run on Jimmy Johnson. Now to the bottom lane. The Daytona 500 winner is going for his second win of the season. They slam down the back straightaway. Busch to the inside. Johnson on the high side will beat Kyle Busch off turn four. White flag. One lap to go. Johnson will lead the field back to turn one. Busch falls in through on the high side. Gets a bit of a run down the back straightaway. One more time through three and four. Busch will slide up between Johnson and Reddick. Reddick to the bottom, but Jimmy Johnson will drive away from it all to win at Kansas. And after so many close calls with victory, Jimmy Johnson is finally able to break through in the Track Masters Cup Series. He is your winner of the Credit One Bank 400. Here is the move of the race. It was this restart. Other than that four wide pass for the lead, Jimmy Johnson executed this restart perfectly. When, as soon as he got in the Geico restart zone and caught William Byron napping, he was able to get a big gap over the field, including Kyle Busch. That gave him enough room to drive away from the field and take his first win of the season here at Kansas. And now for the celebration, Jimmy Johnson has won his first Trackmasters Cup Series race. And a great burnout by Jimmy Johnson, fitting for a seven-time champion of the sport. He is your official winner of the Credit One Bank 400 at Kansas. Just at the line, Tyler Reddick was actually able to get P2 from Kyle Busch. We'll take a look at the rest of your top 10 now. Following Tyler Reddick was, of course, Kyle Busch, William Byron, Eric Almirola, Kyle Larson, Brad Keselowski, Ryan Blaney, Chase Briscoe, and Cole Custer will round out your top 10. Here are your points after race 7. Jimmy Johnson now leads the point standings by 10 points over Brad Keselowski and Kyle Busch. They are currently looking like your main championship contenders, but looking at the chase bubble, Bell's in by 7, Custer's in by 6, Busher's out by 6, but more importantly, your Season 2 champion, Joe Iligano, is out by 9. He needs to put together some good races if he hopes to extend his gap over that chase cut line. So thank you all for watching the Credit One Bang 400 from Kansas. I know I had a lot of fun filming it, and I am more excited than ever about the Trackmasters Cup Series' future. Next week is the Old Spice 500 from Nashville. Other things regarding the channel is that soon I'm going to be starting some other video series um, along with the Trackmasters Cup Series and One Take Analysis because uh, I'm really enjoying doing those series so far. Uh, there's going to be one other series starting soon that I think you all will enjoy, but until a later date when I will announce that, this is Jonathan signing out. Have a good weekend and enjoy the race on Sunday.